name is Rick, and in this video, we'll go over our first practice from the pentatonic scale guitar solo trainer. We'll take a pattern guide and put it on the fretboard chart according to a root note and play the notes. So let's go to page six in the book and also take out your fretboard chart and pattern guide number one. Our practice song starts with a C chord. That means the root note would be a C. So we'll take our red root note markers and place them over C notes and that gives us this area from the nut or the open strings to the fourth fret to play a C minor pentatonic scale. Now you can play all 12 notes or just a few to make a good sounding solo. In this practice we'll play all 12. So let's name each note on each string. Starting with the sixth string we have an F and a G. On the fifth string a B flat and a C. On the fourth string E flat and F. On the third string open G and a B flat. On second string, C, and an E flat. And on the first string, an F and a G. Practice those a couple of times, and we'll go on to play along with track two. I've downloaded all my tracks onto my phone, and it makes it really easy to practice with the book. So what we'll do is play track two we'll listen for the four counts to know how fast or slow to play and then we'll play along with the track track two here we go listen for the four counts one two three four one two three four one two three Did you get them all? Uh, you can rewind and replay as many times as you'd like. Otherwise, we'll move on to track three, where we do the same thing, only we play with a backing track. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Listen for the four counts from track three. Track three. One, two, three, four. there you have it. Our first practice, lining up a pattern guide on the fretboard chart according to a root note. I do have one tip for you. Try not to use just your index finger to play all the notes. If there is, if your music says play something in the first fret, I generally use my first finger. If it says play something in the second fret, I'll use my second finger. And if it's in the third fret, I'll use my third finger. And if it's in the fourth fret, I'll use my fourth finger. It doesn't always work out like that, but it's a good rule of thumb. In our next video, we'll play a short solo using five notes out of the pattern and playing them four times each. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next video. Bye for now.